Good morning viewer welcome to our glory globe tv here's the breaking news yes prime minister modi and biden had called on pakistan to take immediate action to ensure that no territory under its control is used for launching terrorist attack pakistan's foreign ministry on monday summoned the u.s embassy's deputy chief of missions to express concern and disappointment over a last week's joint statement by prime minister narendra modi and u.s president joe biden that called on islamabad to ensure its territory was not used as a base for terrorist attack. Alleging that one-sided, one misleading references were made in the joint statement, Pakistan Foreign Office said it was stressed that the United States should refrain from issuing statements that may be constructed as an encouragement of India's baseless of politically motivated narrative against Pakistan. It was also emphasized that counter-terrorism cooperation between Pakistan and the US, yes, had been progressing well and that an enabling environment centered around trust and understanding was imperative to further solidifying Pakistan-US ties, it added. US State Department spokesperson Matt Miller told reporter in a daily news briefing that though Pakistan had taken important steps to counter terrorist groups, Washington advocated for more to be done. At the same time, however, we have also been consistent on the importance of Pakistan continuing to take steps to permanently dismantle all terrorist groups, including Laskar e Taiba and Jaise Muhammad and their various front organizations, and we will raise the issue regularly with Pakistani official, he said. In a joint statement during Prime Minister Modi's state visit to the US, the two countries condemned terrorism and violent extremists in all its form and manifestation. Modi and Biden called for concerted action against the all UN listed terrorist groups, including Pak based outfits like Laskar e Toiba, Jaise Muhammad, and Hijab ul Mujahideen. The two sides also called for the perpetrators of the 26 by 11 Mumbai and Patankon attacks to be brought to the justice links of which have been long established with Pakistan. While LAT was behind the 2008 Mumbai attacks in which more than 160 people were killed, Jaisa Muhammad claimed responsibility for a 2019 Pulwama attack that killed 40 paramilitary Jawans. Former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan tried to corner the ruling coalition saying the joint statement reduced Islamabad to a promoter of cross-border terrorism in India and nothing more despite countless trips of Pakistan's foreign minister to the US. Be in the support. Glory Globe TV, Delhi, India.